Not everybody accepted FDR's policies and the New Deals. Conservatives, uh, Republican and conservative Democrats as well, really were freaked out by what FDR was doing. Uh, FDR was probably the most popular president in our history among in his time, meaning if you polled the people, he would probably be the most popular. But he did have critics. Um, in, in, uh, in, in, in 1934... Uh, DuPont, who owned, a, a, who owned a, a Pierre DuPont, who owned a massive chemical corporation, um, united a group of wealthy Americans in an organization called the American Liberty League. They attacked FDR and his New Deal for being an anti-capitalist dictatorship, is what they called it. Now they tried very hard to create some sort of grassroots support for this idea that FDR was was a, a, a dictator, uh, but but regular people tended to support FDR and his programs, and they had a very hard time gaining any sort of traction. The communists and the socialists, those to the left FDR, said he wasn't going far enough. They said the New Deal wasn't enough. Uh, but they were largely not listened to as well. Most people at the time accepted FDR's programs as necessary and beneficial. There were, I should mention, by the way, there was a, at least loosely discussed, we don't know how far along the planning got, but there was a, a plot to kill FDR. Um, by uh, 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 members of, of this, uh, anti, uh, this American Liberty League. But again, um, th there's debate over how far that went. I do want to talk about some specific critics and what they had to say. Dr. Francis Townsend, uh, who was in California, um, was an elderly guy. Here we go, here's Townsend. He's up here on the left, you see. And he proposed this plan. He said, there will be a mandatory retirement age of 60. And at 60, every American will get $200 a month, but they have to spend it all in that month. Anything they don't spend goes back to the government. Now, the point of this was not to create a nice retirement plan for everybody to have a, a, a decent old age. The point was to try to, A, get older folks out of the workforce so younger people could have those jobs in this time of high unemployment, and B, to stimulate the economy. If old people are all spending $200, $200 a month, and that's going to stimulate other businesses and help the economy. Uh, his idea, of course, will become very important later. It will evolve into Social Security. Father Charles Coughlin is a, a Catholic priest in Detroit. Um, and he's going to attack FDR from the right. He's going to want to coin silver and issue greenbacks. I'm sorry, he's going to attack him from the left. He's going to demand inflation. He wants to reach out to the National Bank. And he believes inflation will help the working people, which is a long-held belief, uh, which is not entirely untrue. Um, uh, about inflation and how it helps regular people. He supports FDR initially, but becomes disillusioned over the lack of financial reform. Uh, and he creates an anti-FDR organization called the National um, Union for Social Justice. But probably the most important critic of FDR during his lifetime uh, was the kingfish, Huey Long. He was the governor of Louisiana and later senator from Louisiana. And he attacked the oligopolies, the big businesses, the large corporations. He became governor in 1928 and he was popular, ruthless, and dictatorial. He did good things. He built roads, schools, and hospitals, um, but he also did a lot of a controversial things. He put enormously high taxes on wealthy people in Louisiana. He gave out free textbooks to students. He uh, led to lower utility bills, but he was incredibly corrupt. Uh, Kingfish didn't do anything if it didn't put a buck in his pocket. In 1930, he becomes a senator, and he initially supports FDR, but he breaks away and demands that FDR go further to, to the left with his uh, with the Kingfishers, with Huey Long's Share Our Wealth Redistribution Program. He calls for the federal government to provide every family in America with a $5,000 home and a $2,500 a year income, uh, 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 annual income provided by the government. Now, that's a, if you translate for inflation, that would basically mean that every American would have a decent house and be above the poverty line. And in fact, in 1936, Huey Long says he's going to run as a third-party candidate to try to unseat FDR. And Long is popular enough, and his uh, uh, pro-working people ideas are popular enough, that FDR sees him as a potential threat and somebody who might be able to take uh, FDR out.